On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a one. A blessed and wonderful Tuesday morning to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, you don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So, in the morning, my peeps, I have a few stories to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public, and also members of the diaspora. So, please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in a Jamaica so watch your snow my peeps we are going to kick it off over there in the eastern section of the island we are talking about over there in the St. Thomas Police Division where the St. Thomas Police led by Officer Yeman Pick and Team put on a decent spot of work me I tell you my peeps yeah man the officer them deal with the thing a certain type of way so on your screen is a known old dirty kind of boy a real menace to society a criminal element within his own right that has been plaguing the general eastern Jamaica for some time now. He has since been identified as Dwayne Logan, otherwise known as Loti. Real old knackies and clappies in the streets, a real old shooty shooty. Well, yesterday marked the end of the road for this old dirty criminal element here. Yeah. This man's name has been called on many murders in the eastern section of Jamaica. Namely, this young woman presently on your screen, Tiana Ewart, who was taken out in a yell of bullets at her business establishment last year. His name was also mentioned in the knockings and clappings that resulted in the loss of life of this ex-policeman presently on your screen known as Andrew Thomas. His name was also called in the brutal knockings and clappings of Dean Griffiths over there in Surge Island. And last but not least, the most recent knockings and clappings of a serving member of the Jamaica Constabulary Force. This man presently on your screen, a man known as Mark Anthony Foresight. So this brother here definitely a knock it and clap it from people for a mighty long time, you know. So I could take a quick look, you know, on the knockings and clappings that he carried out on Dean Griffiths. I would consider the Dean Griffiths case as one of those curious cases because no evidence really was proven as to his involvement as where video camera surveillance is concerned. However, when the squad of them clap him away, Dean Griffith's licensed firearm was found on the scene and also wallets and identification belonging to Dean Griffiths. So I don't want the squad of them just sweep it under the carpet now because the knackies and clappies get clap away because for him to gain access to the Surge Island compound and carry out that act and walk away scotch free it had to be a planned and paid hit by someone on the inside so i would definitely plead to the squad of them nobody sweep the one under the carpet because the person with peyote is still out there the knackies and clappies were carry out the act, get slapped away. Yes, and we're glad for that. And the licensed firearm belonging to Dean Griffiths was recovered. We're glad for that too. But we still want the person who hired Loti to come knock it and clap it upon Dean Griffiths and take him life in such a brutal and wicked way to be caught. Yeah, man. So another decent spot of work again by the squad of them, Officer Yeman Pick and Team in full flight taking out one of St. Thomas' most wanted men, Dwayne Logan, otherwise known as Loti, the real knackies and clappies, real old shorty shorty. 
Yeah, man. So watch us now, my peeps. I have a breaking news for you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora as Jamaica's final court of appeal, which is the UK-based Judicial Committee of the Privy Council, has refused murder convict and dancehall icon Adija Vibes Cartel Palmer appeal to his conviction of the lesser life of Clive Lizard Williams. Cartel and his co-convicts were also refused. So this is the document presently on your screen. And it reads, At the court at Buckingham Palace, the 15th day of February 2023, present the King's Most Excellent Majesty in Council, the following report of Judicial Committee of the Privy Council was read. Having considered the application for permission to appeal from the judgment of the Court of Appeal of Jamaica, 3rd of April in 2020, the matter between Sean Campbell, that is Sean Stam, Adija Palmer, that is Vibes Cartel, 3rd is Kyra Jones and Associate, and 4th is Andre St. John, the four appellants, and all of that is versus the King. No, and having considered written submissions from the appellants and the respondent, we have agreed to report to Our Majesty as our opinion that number one, the appeal be refused in the application dated November 20 of 2020. Number two says that permission to appeal the additional grounds advanced on behalf of Mr. Palmer be refused and also refused on the application for an extension of time and application to rely on fresh evidence. The grounds do not support the submission that a serious miscarriage of justice has occurred in his case in the application dated November 12 of 2021. So either party may make representations on a cost to be filed within 21 days of the date of this order. The last section reads, His Majesty was pleased by and with the advice of his Privy Council to approve the report and to order that those charged with administering the government of Jamaica and all others whom it may concern are to ensure that it is punctually observed and obeyed. End of the statement, right there so. So basically, that I tell we say, Vibes Cartel, Sean Stam, and his co-accused have to serve them time. So Cartel will have to serve the remainder of his 35 years in prison before he is considered for parole. So Cartel and his co-convicts, including Sean Stam, were sentenced to life imprisonment back in April 2014. So the end of the road in terms of seeking his freedom for Vibes Cartel, whose given name is Adija Azim Palmer. Now, Cartel is 47 year old, and right now, the world boss has to spend another 26 years of his life in a prison cell. He is not eligible for parole before he turns 72 years old. So, right now, my peeps, that is it. The end of the road. For Vibes Cartel. So to all uh, dancehall artists presently and upcoming dancehall artists, we feel like say badness I go help you know, to acquire the fame on the need in a dancehall, the knockings and clappings on a go on without there. I go work out any different for you. Know. If you need a living proof, so Vibes Cartel life there right in front of our eyes. So badness and music can't go together. We don't need to pick a side and stay on it. Yeah, man. It's either you're a criminal or you're an artist. But you cannot be both. Pick a side and stay on it. The sole persona that you know have to be a bad man, a gangster, a gunslinger. To get some street cred to be a prominent dancehall artist. See it play out right before in the very eyes right now. I'm pretty sure anywhere vibes cartel is in any cell block right now if he could have done things different 
he would have because there is no amount of money that one can make or whatsoever fame one can ascend to that can compare with that of freedom meaning say you're not dead behind bars water and police not dictate your pace you can move around in society freely nothing at all where you attain cannot compare to freedom so again to the would-be criminal elements in dance hall and also the would-be gangsters in dance hall take a very good look at one of jamaica's we have to give him where him due but just so the thing said take a good look and one of jamaica's most successful dance hall artist look at what him life narrowed down to right now because of bad choices i hope you learn from fee mistake and make better choices for your own so anyway my peeps make we continue so another decent spot of work again by the squad of them so on sunday february 19 2023 members of the security forces conducted a joint operation within the st andrew south police division during which there was a weapon and ammunition fine so the joint team's effort resulted in one fmk and one magazine and 14 rounds of ammunition and one person was also detained in connection with that fine so this fmk semi-automatic pistol yeah yeah man may i tell you half of the streets right now citizens are however encouraged to cooperate with the security forces and share what they know about illegal activities illegal weapons and illegal happenings in their general communities by Definitely contacting Crime Stop or NIB at 811, the JDF tip line at 876-837-8888 or of course you can always call police emergency number 119. Yeah man may I tell you. So right you now my peeps the last thing that we are going to talk about is a robbery that took place over there in St. Elizabeth. So as I'm telling you now my peeps, certain things definitely have to happen for people understand what is really going on because a long time now we have talked to the people in my St. Elizabeth, you know, to stop all of them criminal elements there from outside because I want a little family, a Auntie Erica son or our grandmother, grandson where no come visit all long and no see him and just glad to see him so I never understand say I run this boy or I run away from the long arms of the law. So gunmen held up and robbed the haberdashery of an undetermined sum of cash in Santa Cruz, St. Elizabeth, yesterday morning. Now, the incident occurred sometime about 9.30 a.m. on Cook Drive. It is reported that two men entered the establishment, brandished firearms and demanded money. The cash was handed over and the men escaped. On Saturday, a supermarket operator was also conned up and injured on the Ballards Valley Main Road in St. Elizabeth by men who stole a bag containing approximately $1 million. So the thing is now, my peeps, you see them people here where have them abadashia. Them have some little girl girl where them imply in them. No, no for them little girl here. And I say that with a disrespect in it for a reason. Because no for them little girl here, they with some little common criminal, some little dirty kind of boy. And uh, they must spat out the China them place and uh, make them criminal element friend know when they come strike. Because at 9 30 a.m., now, look like a normal criminal now nah, feel say the wholesale or the haberdash you have X amount of cash so early in the morning. So, not more than persons who is employed study the modus of the operators of the business establishment and know say, yo, listen me, all a Saturday and Sunday sales now get pick up and on Monday they may go distribute the funds there to the bank. So, we're going to do now come in 
early Monday morning when time the whole of the money count off and check off and ready to get pick up or ready to be dispersed to the bank when I just step in them time there. Wola and pan, whosoever, and demand the money, them are going to go no, because them coward and them afraid. So basically, a data take place in a them like a rural areas yeah, where them have these like a Chinese business establishment. So we don't really need to be careful, screen the people them who you know, I get for working on a place. Yeah, man. And it are going to reach a stage where them are gonna stop aya locals and start bringing them own China people them for come work for them because some are not too wicked and evil people them go on a chance at life go on a little work even though the work environment is not the best and the paycheck is not the best but it's better than on a sit down on a yard and a look you don't have to be grateful and stop set up the people them because on a known a criminal element friend them we come clap them with Luckily this time, them just take the money and leave. But look at the one we go on Saturday. Them shut up Mr. Chin. Yeah man, and take him one million dollar and cut with it. So I saw them criminal element a role. So as me say, business owners, whether Chinese, black man, white man, Syrian or Indian, make sure say on a screen on a work as them properly even though that won't prevent it but at least it will minimize it somewhat yeah man so again a word to the wise is always sufficient so anyway my peeps remember to like share subscribe to the channel stay tuned to on the spot news media as i continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast on the spot news media yeah man